I'm Peter Ballersted, a forage agronomist and ruminant nutritionist. The amino acids and peptides supplied by our diets are essential for many aspects of human health and well-being. One, the maintenance of muscle mass is critical for an aging population increasingly manifesting metabolic syndrome. Whole food diets that provide the amounts appropriate to each stage of life must be the goal of dietary guidance. Previous editions of the dietary guidelines contain serious flaws in dietary protein recommendations. First, it used crude protein values, an antiquated estimate no longer suitable for use in humans and other monogastric nutrition. This provides no estimate of individual amino acids, their digestibility, or their utilizability. In 2011, an FAO expert consultation recommended that, quote, dietary amino acids should be treated as individual nutrients, and wherever possible, data for digestible or bioavailable amino acids should be given in food tables on an individual amino acid basis. They also recommended that a new protein quality measure, the Digestible Indispensable Amino Acid Score, or DIAS, replace PDCAS. Second, its use of the recommended daily allowance, RDA, for protein is flawed since it relies on crude protein values. Phrases like high quality and reference protein are insufficient and are poorly understood by the public. In addition, the RDA is a minimum level. It has been shown to be significantly below optimal levels for most life stages. The 2020 to 2025 dietary guidelines did not discuss DIAS, only mentioned the phrase amino acid four times and presented ounce equivalents of protein foods that, quote, do not appear to be equivalent in any respect per Park et al. 2021. The next dietary guidelines must reflect current research and understanding of amino acid nutrition across all stages of life.